Well, Glenn, the president saying earlier today that by suspending the 18 cents gas tax for the, for the next 90 days, that we can actually lower the price of gas and provide Americans with a, a little bit of relief. He said this gas tax holiday alone simply isn't enough. The president also urged oil companies to use their profits to raise refining capacity to help lower prices per gallon of gas by roughly $1. He also wants states to take action in removing their own taxes on diesel as well as gas. My message is simple to the companies running gas stations and setting those prices at the pump. This is a time of war, global peril, Ukraine. These are not normal times. Bring down the price you are charging at the pump to reflect the cost you are paying for the product. Do it now. Do it today. Your customers, the American people, they need relief now. And Congress would have to approve this plan, which Republican leaders like Mitch McConnell are strongly against. Now, it's not just Republicans, but even some Democrats like House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who isn't completely on board with the idea of temporarily removing the gas tax. Even some political leaders here in California are opposed to the president's plan. Some critics argue the savings that would be passed on to consumers would not equate to much. Right now, the federal tax on gas is about 18 cents per gallon. It's 24 cents per gallon for diesel. This ineffective administration's big new idea is a silly proposal that senior members of their own party have already shot down well in advance. Earlier this year, Sp Speaker Pelosi said President Biden's idea, quote, wouldn't even be going to the consumers. She called it, quote, very showbiz. And the national average for gas jumped to about $5 per gallon last week. Those prices are much higher here in California, with consumers expected to face even more financial strain with the busy summer driving season approaching. Now, President Biden addressed concerns that this tax suspension would take funds away from those used toward road construction, also repairs. He said it would not affect federal resources with the Highway Trust Fund. Now, drivers, they've been weighing in on the president's proposal as they await some relief at the pump. Let's go to Alina Abovian. She has much more on that. Alina?